Hi, I'm Kat and welcome to Shark Files, the series where we dive into the fascinating world of sharks, skates, rays and chimeras. Today on World Manta Day, we're celebrating the elusive manta ray. These massive, highly migratory, filter feeding rays have a stunning amount of charisma. Manta rays and their close relatives, the devil rays, are together known as mobulids. But what exactly is a manta ray? Why are they so threatened? And what makes them truly unique compared to other rays? Manta rays are some of the largest fish in the ocean with wingspans that are truly impressive. The oceanic manta, or the giant manta, can grow to a massive seven meters across and weigh as much as two tons. In contrast, reef mantas are a bit smaller, but still with a maximum wingspan of around five meters. You can distinguish these two manta species by their deep black backs, as the oceanic mantas are marked with a T shape, whereas the reef mantas have a Y shape. However, there are different color morphs. So as well as the typical chevron manta, there are also black mantas and even pale variations. Both species have black spots on their undersides, but they're arranged differently. On oceanic mantas, the spots are limited to the area between the gill slits and the tail, while on reef mantas, the spots can appear anywhere on their belly. These spots are unique to each manta, much like human fingerprints, and they're used to identify individuals. Manta rays inhabit tropical and subtropical oceans as well as some temperate regions. While both the oceanic manta and the reef manta can be found in these warm waters, they have slightly different distributions. The oceanic manta ray has a broader range, making it the more widely distributed of the two species. They're found throughout the Pacific, Indian and Atlantic oceans from the surface to depths of around a thousand meters. As their name suggests, they spend much of their time in the open ocean and often dive hundreds of meters in search of zooplankton. In contrast, the reef manta tends to stick to tropical and subtropical waters in the Indo-West Pacific, where it's more commonly associated with shallower coral reef systems. These rays thrive in coastal environments around islands, lagoons, and near coral reefs, where cleaning stations and feeding grounds are plentiful. Manta rays are capable of long distance migrations with many populations traveling across national boundaries. Their migrations often follow seasonal shifts in water temperature and food availability, making them frequent visitors to areas with nutrient rich waters. Certain locations such as the Maldives, Indonesia, Hawaii, Australia and Mexico are known hotspots for manta ray sightings. And these regions are particularly important for manta based ecotourism. These gentle giants are filter feeders, primarily consuming plankton and other tiny organisms. To capture their food, they use specialized structures called gill rakers, which filter the water as it passes through their mouths, trapping plankton. On average, manta rays need to consume around 20 to 30 kilograms of plankton daily, which is around 2% of their body weight. What makes manta feeding even more unique are their cephalic lobes, curved extensions of the pectoral fins. These lobes act like scoops, helping guide plankton-rich water directly into their wide mouths. As they swim gracefully through the water, mantas flare their cephalic lobes outward, funneling in huge amounts of plankton. Mantas have different feeding strategies and will often perform backward somersaults in areas with high concentrations of plankton. They may follow each other to chain feed or even piggyback on top of one another. They've even been observed in a behavior called cyclone feeding, where they follow one another in a circular formation, creating a whirlpool that traps their food in the center. Each manta in the group takes advantage of this method, ensuring they maximize their intake while expending minimal energy. Manta rays are not only physically impressive, but also highly intelligent creatures. In fact, they have the largest brain to body ratio of any fish. This large brain size is linked to their complex behaviors and problem solving abilities, such as the array of feeding squadrons mentioned before. One of the most remarkable displays of their intelligence is the possibility that mantas may be self-aware. Studies suggest that they're capable of passing the mirror test, a well-known experiment used to determine whether an animal can recognize itself in a reflection. This indicates that manta rays could have a level of self-awareness, a trait that is rare among marine animals and may put them among the most intelligent animals in the ocean. Oceanic manta rays are classified as endangered, while reef manta rays are vulnerable on the IUCN red list of threatened species, with a risk that populations will continue to decline if the pressures they currently face and not reduced. Pollution poses a threat as mantas are known to accumulate microplastics 
and heavy metals in their tissues, which can lead to serious health issues. Furthermore, manta rays' low reproductive rate only exacerbates these threats and makes it far harder for their numbers to recover. Reef manta, for example, give birth to just one pup every two to four years, with a lengthy gestation period that can be up to 13 months long. Their biggest threat, however, as with other oceanic sharks and rays, is overfishing. Manta are often caught for their gill rakers, which are highly sought after in traditional Asian medicine. These gill rakers can sell for hundreds of dollars per kilogram, driving an unregulated trade that is pushing populations to the brink. We've championed manta and devil rays in many international fora, raising the profile and helping secure trade and conservation measures alongside fisheries prohibitions. Last year saw progress in the Atlantic with the adoption of a provisional prohibition subject to scientific advice. This year, we're working to see this finalised. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey into the world of manta rays. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future episodes of Shark Files. We've got plenty more ocean adventures coming your way, so stay tuned for updates. See you next time.